Fala Kagwe's account, the founder of Eri, yeah, whose name was Eri, who came from the Israelite um, tribe of God, traveled from Egypt, arrived at the confluence of the river Niger, Manu and Anambra. This man named Eri then lived there as an alien among the people he met and somehow managed to attention. become their high priest and judge in much the same way as a Samuel in the Bible ruled Israel. Now, while the jury is still out on the veracity of this uh, connection between Igbo land and uh, uh, between the Igbo and uh, Israel, one thing that scholars seem to agree on is the fact that Umri was one of the earliest settlements of Igbo speaking people. And um, according to Afigbo, the Umri developed Afibu. an egalitarian and highly centralized society headed by a priestly king known as Ezenri. The Umri also had highly developed agricultural practices, which some scholars believe was more advanced than uh, those of their contemporaries. Yeah. Some accounts credit the people of Umri for discovering the secret of yam cultivation. The ability of uh, the Umri to cultivate this highly valued food product gave them advantage over their neighbors who needed to learn their secret to cultivate yam. This scientific breakthrough boosted the profile of the kingdom and its reputation as a commercial center spread easily far and wide. According to far and, wide. and, uh, and Kuanda, around 900 AD, Uri also made a technical breakthrough in mastering the art technical of breakthrough. iron smelting. With iron technology, the Enri further advanced their ability to farm and hunt. But one of the most For admirable things about the Enri is that they could easily have used their knowledge of iron smelting to uh, make war implements with which to dominate their neighbors. But they did not. Rather, Unri Kingdom preferred peace and therefore prioritized trade and respect for the sanctity of human life. To ensure um, that its iron <clears throat> technology was not weaponized and uh, misused to cause bloodshed, the rulers of Enri, known as Ezenri, transformed weapons into ritual objects, thus militating against unnecessary violence. As such, when any of their neighbors which uh, were under their influence broke the uh, convention, such communities were outlawed by Unri priests and an embargo or curse Unso, was placed on them. The curse Unso. Unso, was not lifted until a cleansing, a cleansing rite were, was performed. It was really admirable. I hope we understand this message from our model. I hope every one of us understand this wonderful teaching from our model. This is history. This is who you are. As we just finished watching this video, it's very, very important you know who you are. I want you to know that we are direct descendant from Chukwoki Kabiyama. There is no two ways about it. We are direct from Chukwoki Kabiyama Purimi Henine. 
Only Kerry Henny Nekre Kenenu wa. But nobody created him. A God we will keep on serving. A God we will keep on worshipping. Only one God. Now have you begin to know who you are? I know some of our people don't make research. I bring this video to our people to see, to understand who you are. Because it's very, very important. Always, you understand who you are. That is why we keep on saying that we are going to go back to our roots. You see all this nonsensical they brought to us. They killed us. They forced us to believe on that. It's not our religion. I want you people to understand that we 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 knew Chukwu Kikabiyama before they brought that religion to us. That is why we answer the name of Chukwu Kikabiyama. Okay, Chukwu. Namode. She goes here. Umwanya um. Umushuku. Now you understand what I'm saying. We have to understand always who we are. If you people also haven't forgotten, I want to take you people back to what Oba of Ife said about Bibia from people. We are all evil people. Our land is an evil. We are Ndibo all the way from coastal region down to hinterland of Biafra. We are one people. But because of the beneficial of these religion people, they just bacchanize our minds, begin to use divide and rule on our people. That is why today you can see somebody from our Nioma answering Ifan Yishuku. Now we'll be telling you that it's not an evil person. And I hope every one of us understand the explanation from this, our mother. Very, very good teaching. And some of you that don't understand, I want you to go back and listen to it. You're going to understand who you are. But let me introduce myself before I go further. Because that's something I want to explain to our people. All right, wonderful people. Freedom fighters, lovers of freedom, great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media. Under the leadership of Mazin Nam de Okuchukukano. Here I am. I always send the record straight. My name is Mazo Kinna Okichuku, known as the Bia French Child in Wachineke. The general. Now, do you know who you are? Are you beginning to understand who you are? Our ancestors, our great grandfather, Nna Eri, discover a lot of things. Today, we are still having one of the, you know, breakthrough from farming called yam. Everybody are using it today. In our land, we have a day called yam festival. They make also breakthrough on, uh, you know, using metal. That is why in our place, they call it ndiozo, ndenabozo. They be able to break through on that science. And be able to manufacture gun, but they did not use it to intimidate their own people. Rather, they use it to for hunting and make peace within each other. That is why you see today they are still using it on us as a divide and rule. They will come and begin to tell you that South, I mean coastal region and hinterland of Biafra, they are not the same people. Because they want to divide us. And according to our mother, on her teaching now, we got to understand that is the reason why we have different dialects in our land. Because our great-grandfather, our ancestors, our great-grandfather's inner area, don't want to intimidate anybody. He never want to force you to believe in something that you don't know. That is why we call it in our dialect, Onena Shia. Believe on yourself. Work for yourself. Don't depend on anybody. That is what they call humanity. 
onyana shia that is why today they are also using it on us using it on on our coastal region of brothers and sisters telling them we are not one and when you look today in the map there is no place called south south but up to date our people never want to go deeply and search for who they are i have made a lot of research and i have understand who i am i am direct descendant from chuko kikabiyama we knew chuko kikabiyama in truth and honest before they brought us all this nonsensical that put us in a mess that we are today we know chuko kikabiyama don't let anybody deceive you don't let anybody you know bacchanize your mind or put you in a state of imagination you a real watchmaker. I know that they said about the how we come. We sure we are part of the 12 tribes of Israel. But we are not telling you that we are going back to Israel today, where they are today. We are Biafran people. Our religion is Biafra. our God. And only Him we will worship. That is why the central Kokigabi also promised our leader Mazen Namdekan that Biafra must come. We must return back to who, I mean, the way we used to live before they came to bacchanize us and destroy us and begin to use divide and rule on us. That is the way we want to go back. We want to go back to our root and begin to pray to Chuko Kikabi because it's only him, is the God. Purimi Yenine. Nobody else. I hope you understand. And I hope we have learned a lot. I hope we are going to begin to meditate and begin to understand who we are. I will rest my case here. If you don't understand, please, I want you to go back once again and, rest, and listen to this, our great mother with a great history of Biafran people, which is indeed, bo. like I said, we are the same people. We are one people. Our land is an evil. We are indeed great people. Good day. I remember less.